The autism community is facing a housing crisis. My sister Carolyn has autistic tendencies and since she was 16 she's lived on her own. But that's all changed, so. I actually started my professional career at the City of Toronto in 1973, which makes me a 49-year veteran of the housing sector. If models like this can emerge and enable these individuals to live in a quality environment, this would be a major social benefit for all communities, and Jake's House could be a leading innovator of this. My hope for the future of Jake's House is that we continue to do what we're doing in this building into other buildings. The need is beyond great. This is the, the best model that we've put forward, and it's just such a need. My brother and his wife lived with us. Then I developed some health conditions that made it very, very difficult for me to provide the care they required. We're the answer that parents have when they ask themselves, who's going to look after my loved one when I'm no longer here? For almost 20 years, Jake's House has been asking the autism community what they wanted. If you run an organization who has taken on the responsibility of helping parents, um, how do you deal with that day to day? I'm, I'm very empathetic for these parents that don't necessarily have solutions for their children. Jake's house is the perfect balance because people have their own suites or rooms, but at the same time, there are lots of friends around and it feels like a family. This is the kind of place we were looking for for Braden. We were looking for an option where he would be able to live independently and even more importantly, find a sense of community. My hope is that more homes like this would be built and organized and the offer extended to as many people as possible because it's such a beautiful place to live. It feels like home to me 100%. Jake's house is my home. I think this is a nice place to live. Welcome to Jake's house.